Do you ever feel like your PC is just so, so slow? Then you watch the professional players play and they're on 360 frames with the lowest delay possible. Well, that's because they've perfectly tweaked their PC. And in today's video, I'm showing you the exact settings that Clix uses on his PC. Let's get straight into the video. Now, getting into the first week, of course, first week will be quite basic, then heading more and more advanced. So make sure you watch throughout the whole of this video to get the most frames possible. Now, for the first week, we're going to be using the Chris Titus utility. And before you click, away i know most of you have used this before but you guys probably haven't used the advanced features that it has and now i'm going to be teaching you how to actually use that so search powershell just like so run as administrator click onto yes just like so once there's an admin on the top left that's perfectly fine i'll leave this in the description of my video and also my discord server down below make sure you join it's completely free all we do is just talk about pc tweaks so make sure you join my discord server once you have the line of code copy it just like so go back onto windows powershell Control v and enter now remember I got these tweaks from Clix's personal PC tweaker. Honestly, it took me so, so long to find. So if you can quickly leave a like on this video, quickly subscribe to my channel. Honestly, it'll mean so, so much to me. But one thing we have to do is head over to the tweak section, just like so. As general tweaks, most of you already know. And what we're, of course, going to be doing is ticking, ticking every single one. But one thing you guys need to keep in mind, there's one setting here that most of you may actually want to turn off, just like so. Let me tick all of it. And what you want to turn off is disable hibernation. If you're playing on laptop or a gaming laptop, make sure you don't have this one on but for everyone else it is completely fine to have every single setting here and if you're not sure about it always press the question mark right here and it comes up now as for the advanced tweak make sure you don't go clicking every single one right here you don't want to be doing that so first one we need to tick adobe network block make sure you tick that if you're not using any adobe services for example i'm not using any adobe services most of you are just playing fortnite on your pcs so make sure you give that a tick adobe d bloat tick that one disable ipv6 don't don't actually disable it fully you don't want to do that prefer ipv4 over ipv6 i really like to do this one because ipv4 is the old network band but in my opinion it's still faster than the ipv6 so i like to tick that one disable background apps most of you already know background apps is the key reason why your pc is stuttering so much has so much low frames literally disable background apps disable full screen optimizations don't want to do any of that we're going to scroll down disable notifications of course you want to do that scroll down a little bit more remove onedrive make sure you remove onedrive if you're not using onedrive if you don't know what onedrive is then you probably don't use it block razor software installs i also have that on because i don't have any razor utility so if you have a razor keyboard obviously it's common sense guys don't obviously take that box right there once you do this by the way then press run tweaks once you do run tweaks obviously this is going to take about 15 to 30 minutes it will take a while restart your pc and your pc will feel super super smooth and if you thought those tweaks were good honestly wait till the end of this video that's where the hidden gems are now going into our next week and what most people don't even tell you to do by the way so go on to windows and r so run comes up now we've got to type this unfortunately system properties performance.exe pause the video if you have to once you do this press ok now i'll get into the visual effects and two seconds go into the advanced right here processor scheduling choose how to allocate your processors resources adjust best performance of programs or background services now again this is literally common sense you want your best performance to be on your programs why on earth would anyone want it in their background services i have no idea but so many people have this tick so make sure you go onto programs have that ticked go on to apply and okay visual effects what i like to do adjust for best performance literally have every single one unticked i don't notice any difference what Whatsoever. all that i notice is my frames is higher so once you do this press apply press ok now your screen will look a tiny bit different now going on to the next part of this video how to actually get zero ping now what all pros are using is ping boosters and now that all the pros are using ping boosters the question is which one is the best one and honestly after doing so many tests you can literally click onto my channel by the way and have a look i've done gear up versus no ping gear up versus exit like gear up versus lago fast the list goes on and on and on the best one by far is definitely gear up and the craziest part by the way you guys have nothing to lose because there's a free trial in the description of my video so literally download it for free you can give it a go it will lower your ping and then you can go on from there but for a free trial you guys have nothing to lose and also this is not just fortnite by the way there's so many games on here all you have to do is press boost right here on fortnite so for me i play 60 to 70 ping i just load gear up up just before press boost with the free trial by the way in the description of my video and then literally go on to 10 20 ping which is absolutely crazy that's why most pros are using 
experience and not telling you because they want that competitive advantage. Now going to our next week, which is honestly so, so important and you guys don't do it enough. Go on to system configuration just like so. Click on to it just like so. Then go on to selective startup. Tick the first two boxes. We're not doing the normal startup method. So once you do the last one, press apply, press OK. Then go on to boot. The timeout, you need to pick a number between zero and five seconds depending on how good your PC is. Zero if your PC is very, very good. Five seconds if your PC is very bad. Three seconds if your PC is mid, just like me. So I click on three seconds. Then go on to advanced options, tick number of processors. And what you want to do is click the maximum amount, just like so. Obviously, you want every single processor to be working on your PC. Once you do this, press apply, press OK, and apply again. Restart your PC. Now you will have more frames. Again, please do leave a like. Please do subscribe because these clicks and settings took me so long to find. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I'll see you guys on in the next video.